Why does the black church dislike the passport bro movement? We're going to talk about that because we're going to have some Christian brothers give their comments, their commentary on what we do as passport bros. And they're going to let us know the main reason why they want passport bros to stay in the United States. But before we get started, my name is Andre of Travel Unravel, Love Crossing Borders TV. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. You guys already know I like you. Make sure you like us too. Once again, shout out to my man El Guapo, who is Beautiful Eyes. Make sure you guys subscribe to Beautiful Eyes YouTube channel. He was the one that kind of put me on in regards to this particular video. We got four Christian brothers from the church, the same type of brothers you used to pray with while you were in the States, the same brothers you used to volunteer with are the same brothers right now that are mocking you for being a passport, bro. Hold on, wait, I wanna ask about that. What, what, what's your thoughts about that movement? About what, there's a movement? So, I don't know. So what, the what passport are you bros, oh, you don't know what's going on? Passport are, bros? Yeah, these are American oh, come men on, Tim. who have decided that they are no longer want to pursue American women. So what they're doing is they're getting passports. Some of these guys you know, never have passports. Getting passports, they, they are traveling to Thailand, Colombia, Brazil, uh, some of these other countries, and they're going out there looking for wives. Okay, let's pause right there. Good points. You said that passport bros are American guys that are going to other countries looking for wives. That's not true. That's only 50% true. Passport bros are men that are going to other countries looking for lives and so happen to find wives. We aren't going out just women hunting from country to country to country to country. We're looking for a life, a different system than the system in which we live in in the United States. Like you guys always hear me give the stats. Over 50% of Americans will end up in divorces when it comes to relationships. When it comes to relationships, you also have 70% of the divorces that are filed by women. But when it comes to blended families, stepmom and stepdad, 61% of all divorces are filed by the men. So, yes, men in the United States and women in the United States are filing divorces on each other in record numbers. Over 116 different foods in the United States are illegal in other countries. And when I say illegal, I mean literally you cannot ship it to other countries. When it comes to being in the United States, they have two gangs. I don't mean the Bloods and the Crips. I mean the Republican and the Democrats. That's how bad our government is that we can't even get the Republicans and the Democrats to come together to do something on our behalf. So we're not looking for women. We're actually looking for a system. We're trying to get from under the type of system that has not helped out the average American to where in some cities right now, eight and nine dollars a gallon for gasoline. The last thing on our mind is going to another country just focusing on a wife when what we're actually doing is going to other countries looking for a life. Okay. So that's that's the movement. In an attempt to find uh, women who are more submissive. Yeah. They're lazy. Oh, bro, and lame. I, uh, that's another. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Yo, Yo Q, Q, no, no, Q, no. I, cancel I'm, that trip. I'm hey, standing. Hey, make I'm, sure the audio is working I'm on this. I'm standing one. by what I said, bro. You're lazy, bro. Now you're hearing commentary from two men who already told you that they never heard of a passport bro movement. They don't know a passport bro. I doubt if any men on this panel know what passport bro movement is because all they're doing is doing the sound bites. By way of any of these panels, they rarely, if ever, have actual successful passport bros on these panels. They always have individuals that are travelers. They'll have a passport pookie interviewing them. But when it comes to us who have found new lives and just so happen to find wives, they never have us on their shows. But let's continue on with what they have to say in regards to the Passport Bro movement. But also remember, just like the title of this video, the black church does not like the fact that you are using your passports and they have a reason behind it. And we're going to get to that in a moment. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get a rebuke after you hit them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the, the work ethic is giving me a lack of work ethic. Like, like you, you, you think this woman's attractive. You think she's beautiful. You take her out on a few dates. You realize she's rough around the edges. 
And so now you want to go to Thailand to get a girl that knows 50 English words, but she's going to be so happy to be taken out of whatever circumstance she's in that she'll be your servant for the rest of your life. I've never heard a passport bro make those statements. No passport bro used that term servant. Nobody says that. Nobody used the term when it comes to the passport bro movement, submissive. Cooperative, yes. But the term submissiveness, not necessarily. And even using the term submissiveness in some contexts is not bad. The word submission or submissiveness means to have somebody has to have a mission in the house. Somebody has to have a sub or underneath mission to take care of everything. In my household, my wife will let you know, I am the leader. Andre is the leader of the household, but her sub mission is she manages the whole household. I could not keep everything in order and do what needs to be done for us if it wasn't for my wife taking care of all of the other things. We both have a part in this, a part of our cooperation. There's a mission and there's a submission. We aren't trying to find a woman that's submissive. We're trying to find women that are more cooperative. But the first thing that we're looking for as Passport Bros is a new life in a new location. Mm -hmm. It's want. giving me coming to America bark like a dog. Oh. Daily, it's, it's, daily back massages. It's, it's, right. It's giving me your royal penis is clean, sir. You, you, you don't want a wife. You want a slave. Do you actually want to toy with the word slavery? I remember my man, uh, Beautiful Eyes, El Guapo said this. It is sad that the word slavery has been watered down on the tongues of black people to where we use it so whimsically, not realizing when you say that we are looking for somebody to be a slave and not remember what we went through as a people, well, you really don't know what the hell you're talking about. It is. I love so, it. I love so it. to the cats, that's like, I didn't even know there was a passport. I didn't uh, know either. Movement. But so the, we didn't they didn't know that we even existed, and yet they've been running off the mouth giving commentary. Because we ain't lazy. We ain't lazy. We ain't lazy. I mean, right. me, me, the me, the me and Todd getting stamps on our passport, but it's only for investigative purposes only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just want to see what, so, well, you know, yeah, we want to yeah. see what they talk about. A couple later. of bathhouses yeah. later. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'll say this. You want to go all the way over there to find someone, like you said, really mm -hmm. come back and be your servant, your slave. It's not really somebody you want to build with. And then you're going you gonna to get here and realize she, there's a, it's a language barrier, it's a culture barrier. The passport bros, there are a few brothers that have actually found really good women that have gone to the United States and have been very, very successful. Most of us have decided to relocate away from the United States, its system, and its laws. So when it comes to learning curves, it's us who are going through the learning curve of language and culture because we are in these new cultures. But for those gentlemen your church brothers, these are your church brothers who mock you and assume that you are going to be bringing these women back to the United States. They've been watching too much damn 90 day fiance. Understand you. I just, but you, 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 you more thinking, I want you to please me. But if you was really powerful, if you was really worth, are you even worthy of being submitted to? Cats is like, I want someone that's going to submit to me, bro. what they submitting to some little boy stuff. Some little immature stuff? Mm. They, you want her to submit to you? What does that even mean, bro? Are you about to lead her? Man, my wife don't trust me. Are you trustworthy? Mm. Bro, when I quit my job to go full-time into speaking and ministry, my wife was like, I'm quitting my job too. It wasn't because she just was just like God told me to. She was like, bro, when you left the streets and you stopped kicking in doors and you stopped moving work and you stopped running nightclubs and you went all in with God, you was faithful, you got a job, you were serving at the church, you was a local elder, you was traveling and preaching and ministering while you were still locked in with the family. If you gave that your all, I can only imagine what happens when you release your job. Mm. I believe in you so much, I'm quitting my job too. Like, that's my biggest flex, bro. It's not how much money I make, it's how much money I made with my wife, with my queen who was let's pause for a second his wife helped him become successful his wife helped him accomplish goals his wife helped him uh get out of the mindset that was holding him back whatever it was according to what he's saying that they on the path of success 
You guys have watched me for four, me and Andrea for four years. You haven't seen us falter, fall to the side. You've seen us do the exact same thing that he's done with his wife. I've done with my wife. You guys have seen us go from the $400 a month on YouTube to being a six figure couple on an annual basis. So for him to sit back and assume that the only place that this could happen is, is the plantation known as the United States. I beg to differ. Was willing to sacrifice everything. So to the cast is like, I want to go here and I want to travel and find somebody to submit to me. Have you even submitted to the plan of God? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Have you submitted to like, okay, I'm here to serve you. You want her to submit. Are you willing to serve? Bro, I serve my wife. Bro, my wife spoiled rotten. Got cavities all on her heart, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, you <laughs> went to Italy, it. you love it. All right, we going to go back. You went with your girls. I'm, I'm jealous, dog on it. I want to see that smile on your face. Like, I spoiled my queen because she gave me my children. She believed in me when ain't nobody believed in me. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel for the cast is like, I want to find somebody to submit. What are they submitting to? And what type of man do you have to be for them to even be willing to submit to you? And so now, mind you guys, once again, these guys know nothing about passport bros. Right now, you've got men that are doing just like women, cackling, babbling, running off at the mouth. I promise you one thing. I've been out of the United States for going on five and a half years. I do not talk about topics that I know nothing about in the United States. So for the most part, if I don't look it up in an article or read it or look for it, I know nothing about it. So I keep my damn mouth shut. But not your church brothers. Your fellow church brothers are going to ramble like they do in church. Make it all sound good like in church. Sound like they're supporting those brothers and sisters back home like in the church. But at the same time, at the end of the day, they don't know what the hell they're talking about just like many brothers in the church. Well, I, I feel the same. I feel like it's lazy. They, they just want someone that can be their servant, yeah. their slave, yeah. but not someone they can really love and love them back and build with. That's Passport right. bros, you got 24 hours to respond. <laughs> right, right, right. Because the shots have yeah. been fired. Yeah, they have. The <laughs> shots and let me say this, have bro, been fired. It, bro, it's my, t Tim. Okay, y'all ready? Here we go. When it comes to responding to people Males, females, black, white in the United States, you guys already know what my hypothesis is. We don't say nothing to them. I'm going to say this again. Don't you waste your energy trying to convince people that don't have a passport or don't use a passport what it's like to be a passport bro, passport king, blue book gentleman, and even our passport sisters. Don't waste your energy going into barbershops arguing with people going on live streams, going back and forth with people. I was just on a live stream and I got a chance to see how people actually are when they don't use their passports and they don't do homework. They think that all black people should live on the same plantation. We all should fight the good fight of faith and we should all die under the same umbrella known as the US government. And a lot of them are your church brothers, church sisters were the same individuals that will mock you and put you down like these guys are doing regarding the passport bro movement bro i live in atlanta bro there are beautiful attractive women everywhere there that are. speak english it's true come from different countries but they're american or whatever that will submit are you handling your business here's the reality i'm speaking directly to the passport boys no disrespect but i'm just gonna keep it one thou while with you he called you boys it, <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's bros, it's bros, 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 bros whatever. My bad. Passport kids, <laughs> no, 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 no. Passport <laughs> these passport toddlers, <laughs> they getting shorter every round. God. <laughs> to the, to the passport, bro. These are your brothers. I want you to pause and think about this. In all, in all sincerity, I'm not mocking them. I'm not coming at them. These guys are just an example of the millions of brothers that in every church that feels the exact same way. Why? Why are you going to other locations? Why? you can, All these women in these churches, they're going to sit back and tell you the why they don't want you to go in a moment. But before they did, they mock you, they laugh at you. All you guys that sat back and said, I'm going to believe in myself, I'm going to believe in my God, and I'm going to go after a new life in a different location in which they will have never done. That's why they chose the women that they chose. They believe that God called them to enjoy Atlanta. God didn't call you to do that, did he? He called you to use your passport 
and find the life in which he had planned for you, just like he did with me, Zoom to Thailand, Beautiful Lies, The Solo Traveler ORD. All of us are men that are in stable relationships and or marriages, as well as thousands of other brothers and sisters across the world. And yet the same people that prayed with you on Sunday laughed at you on Monday. My brothers, listen, if you really want to find somebody to submit, if you're really that nice, if you're really worthy of being somebody submitting to, like they, they in the States, you don't have to go to another country to find somebody else. You handle your business, you know what I'm saying, and you're going to find you someone that can speak, that your language, that can cook, that can serve you, that can love with you, that can build with you, that can help you go to the next level. You don't have to go somewhere else. And so I think we've identified. Let's pause right there. He's absolutely correct. The lead attorney a couple days ago in regards to this. You do not have to use your passport to find the right love. But this is what I told lead attorney. Even though you don't have to go to another country to find the right love, you do have to go to another country to find the right laws. I think death would be easier than a divorce. It's very frustrating to have gone for help and then come out with your family destroyed. We have serious problems in our family law court system. Getting divorced is far from easy. Litigation lasted for over a year. I was married only four months, and my divorce has lasted over six and a half years. Close to eight years. Eight years. Why is divorce so difficult? People can get as much justice as they can afford. Most people cannot afford any justice at all. What's wrong with that? This is a business. The more you charge, the more people are willing to pay. They didn't give me a lawyer, pay this $11,000 or go to jail. It really got to the end of the line for me. And I said to the litigants, I want you to know, after two hours, we will have spent more than most people in this courthouse make in a year. Your home, your, your valuables are all going to be sold to pay the lawyers and people like me. Even though I was acquitted, he still made a decision to take my son away from me. His birthday was last week and I didn't get to see him. What you have is a tinderbox and the lawyers are throwing gasoline on that fire. The system is designed to create conflict. I received a phone call for another 25000 He'd be able to give us what we wanted. Extortion? Family court results in more violence than any other area of law. Deaths, suicide, murder. No jury, just the one biased judge. The judge says, even if you win, you would have to pay. The whole thing is just insane. Follow the money. You live in a country in the United States that says, of these four gentlemen, at least two of them, 50%, will be divorced eventually. I want to say that again. These four men that are mocking and laughing at us right now, I want you to put in the comment section, which two do you think might end up being divorced? We're not wishing divorce on anybody, but I want to hear what you guys have to say with these confident church brothers who pray and fast and believe God and have great supportive wives. Don't realize that behind the scenes lurking in the shadows are the laws of the United States. That says that if at any point in time that any of these guys or their wives could stand up and say with no excuse, I want a divorce. I want half your shit and I'm taking the kids with me. That's the United States. So, yes, they could convince you to find love. But can you find laws? That's the problem that takes place. That cause a lot of men who want to get married, not get married in the United States identify the root of that mm -hmm. it's a lot of women that's single in america that will love to be um taken care of and will love to serve their husband mm -hmm. you ain't got to go across the world to find somebody else just so they come back and do whatever you want them to do and submit to you that's like that's that narrative back. of women the modern woman ain't submitting but that's not true are there some that's like i'm independent yes but bro it's a lot of women I know, a, I know six of them in Atlanta that are single, mm -hmm. that want a hardworking man that mm -hmm. love God. They ain't even looking for a super high-value man. They just mm -hmm. like, I just want somebody that's good to their mama, somebody with decent credit, somebody that's going to love me and treat me mm -hmm. the right way. And I will submit to that man and make him feel like a king. 
There are people out here like that, but you got to be willing to do the work. And I think it goes back to your root issue. They lazy. They lazy. Mm. Yeah, they out here. I got a, I got a, I got, I got a, a couple in rotation. I got a, <laughs> <laughs> I got a god sister who has a degree, doctorate degree. She is brilliant. She is bright. She is beautiful. And she will become Susie Homemaker in a minute. Oh, mm. Notice that when it came to using the term submission, when it comes to going to another country and finding a wife, that's hands off. That's a bad thing. It's like getting a slave. But then when it came to them describing all these wonderful attributes in these American women that he says, I know six and I know a couple more that will submit to you. That will be Susie Homemaker. All the things that they mocked you for getting a foreign girlfriend or wife for. As long as you do it in the United States, hey, that's supposed to be acceptable. The main reason why these church brothers want you to stay in the United States is what they just described. They want you to stay in the United States to marry U.S. women. They're trying to get their pews filled. They're trying to get more brothers to marry these church women that's looking at their wives like, how did you get a man? How did you get a man? Does your husband have any friends? Does your uncle have any friends? Does your co-workers have any friends? They're doing that right now. We've been praying. We've been fasting. We've been going to Bishop Jake's, but we just don't have a husband. And so now these guys need you to stay there in the United States to fill the void because these women have already gone through the Pookie and Ray Ray phase. Then they got into the church, changed their lives. That's a great thing. But at the end of the day, what ends up happening is this. They want you, good men, to stay there to fill the void of all the missing good men because she no longer wants to be with Pookie and Ray Ray who gave her one, two, or three children. You go ahead and stay there, all you future stepdads. I'm going to let you know by way of experience. It's not all it's cracked up to be. It's not worth it. And that's why over 61% of the divorces of blended families, the husband files for divorce. For the right man. That's what I was about to say. For the right man. And let's not act like these women couldn't pull out their own passports. They are. Because cause, cause I don't, I, I don't like working. when men give this energy that all women are this. In the same way, I don't like when women yeah, give the energy right. that all men are this. Let's stop capping. Hmm. The women you met us like that. Hmm. Some these of these women you attract. Yeah, yeah. And, and some of these women you attract. And here's the other thing. Let's pause for a split second. They say the women that you attract, that's the problem. The women that you've dealt with is the problem. These are church brothers, faithful to the church. How many of y'all have smashed church sisters? Ran through them with no problem. I'm not talking about the Aisha that goes to the church, but she lives in a small house in the hood. I'm talking about the professional sister that works in the church, volunteers in the church. She may be the church attorney or, the, or one of the church main contributors. She has a five bedroom house. Maybe one or two dogs, but no man. She's making good money. She's Miss AKA everything. How many of y'all have ran through those women? So have I. So when they sit back and try to hype up these church sisters as if they are innocent and pure. No, no, they've, they've got things to no woman in the world is perfect. They've got things to work on. And so do women in other countries have things to work on to be the best woman that they can be. What's my point in saying all this is while these guys are trying to convince you to stay in the States, your passport opportunities for a new life is still calling you. So you have a choice. Listen to your church brothers. Shame you like Kevin Sevens would say, shame you into staying in the United States to get with the sisters in the church that most of us have already smashed through anyway, or use your passport, get the life that you deserve thing how in the world are you getting a passport to go to thailand you ain't been out of freaking atlanta <laughs> they literally are you have never been out of georgia yeah. Yeah. Right. you've never even been to freaking california right you might find a bad one in mississippi you ain't been nowhere you ready to go to another country <laughs> you ain't explored the you might find somebody in boise idaho you've been right. in nowhere dog right. let's pause it right there 
you haven't been out of Atlanta, Boise, Idaho, L.A., Mississippi, Memphis, doesn't matter. All the same laws apply nationwide in the United States. A woman can still wake up and tell you that she doesn't want to deal with you in the United States, no matter what state that you're in for the most part. So there is no fault divorces all across the United States. That's what my point is when it comes to if you want to get married, why are you doing it in the United States when you know that in five or 10 years or even in Jeezy's cases, two years in two years with Jeezy, all he had to do was just tell his wife, I don't want to be with you anymore because I don't feel like it. Just like 70 percent of women have done to men. I don't want to be with you anymore. Why, baby? Because I don't feel like it. So at the end of the day, no matter what state you go to, those laws follow you, even if you're looking for good love in those other states. Stop playing. You going all the way to Thailand and you ain't been to Tennessee. Stop. Stop playing. All right, so uh, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let my passport bros get a rest here. Cause right, right. Their ass is red well, right now. <laughs> I, 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 let, let, me, let me ask this real quick. Because coming from my, coming from my brothers, let's, let's go back to my brothers in these sexless marriages. Because you talked about some guys who just got to be there, and there's some guys that's involuntarily there. They don't, they don't necessarily want that, but they just Wait, in this want place. What? A, a, a marriage that is they lacking. Want, they no, want a, a nobody, healthy. Nobody sexless. wants a sexless marriage. No, so so nobody so, so here. So here's what I want to ask oh, okay, okay. for the brother in that <laughs> spot. Sorry, for the brother in that spot, how does he bring his? How does he bring that marriage back to life? You see what they have to deal with. We're going to end the video right here. I don't want to hear their answer. I could care less about what sexless marriages are taking place in the United States. I really could care less because at the end of the day. Individuals such as yourselves and myself, whether you be male or female, we're using passports to build new lives. So these YouTube channels such as this one who know nothing about passport bros, they're still sitting around praying, fasting and having fellowship talking about sexless marriages while we're traveling the world. Well, my name is Andre of Mostly Money, Love Crossing Borders. Travel Unraveled, and Andrea Wallace TV. Thank you guys for watching another episode. Make sure you click that like button. I'm going to the comment section. I'm on my way right now. You meet me right there in the comment section because I want to hear what you have to say. Which one of these four dudes you think are going to be, at least two of them, they're going to be the ones to get the divorce? Because according to the statistics, two of their wives are going down to the courthouse.